everyone here i am today at the grocery store i want to see if it's possible to find some good art supplies and make some good art all right this video is brought to you by squarespace uh and this this grocery store actually has a pretty good selection of art supplies so it kind of feels like it's cheating but let's see what they've got let's pick some things out i'm kind of tempted to try these Sharpie pens. I don't know why they have black ones and white ones that are essentially the same thing as far as I can tell. I kind of want to grab a pack of these. There's, there's some really good brands here. You know, G2, 0.7, oh, oh. whoops, got these packed to the gills here. It's not my it's not my fault that fell off. It's barely on there. There 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, where's the 0.5? I don't know. The 0.7 is a little fat for me. I would grab a 0.5 if they had it, but I don't see it. Alright, Zebra is amazing also. Smoother ink, vibrant color. Wow. Such vibrant black. I have to try that. Then I'm just grabbing things I already know, but I know I love these pilot precise V7 pens. I should look for a, something I haven't tried before. That's kind of, I haven't tried the Sharpie gel pens before, I don't think, but I should, I should try branching out a little bit. Maybe some of these super tips, there's only 10 of them, but who needs more than that? What about, what about this little guy right here? The Bic Gelosity. Never heard of it. Extra smooth, smear, resistant writing quick dry never seen it never heard of it man i've heard of bic all right i'm really stocked up on pens now now i need to draw find something to draw in or on let's look at the sketchbooks i'm a little bit worried here because i think most of these are like little journals i think most of them you know are a little bit kitschy a little bit tacky breathe i think most of them are probably going to be lined worst case scenario we could go down here grab a pack of paper multi-purpose cute little composition book i kind of want that just because it's so cute this isn't too bad hardcover lined I and mean, i guess i could draw in a lined lined book if i had to come on come on post-it notes i mean self-stick notes. I think there are zero unlined notebooks here. This, this paper is way too smooth. I want something with a little more tooth. I think this is the best option as far as sketchbook goes. We will try using these Bic Gelosity pens. I know I found a lot of other good pens over here, but I already know those pens are good, which is why I don't want to use those. I didn't expect this grocery store to have such a good selection, but then again, it is a Harris Teeter, which is kind of like a more upscale grocery store. So who knows? All right, I got to go finish my grocery shopping and then uh, let's go home and draw. I should probably shave too. Got a bit of a neck beard going. Does anyone need a birthday card? All right, testing out the Sharpie pen with the tiny composition notebook for the sponsored segment here. Make sure you go test out the features that Squarespace has for making websites. For example, it's very easy to set up a special members area section in your website if you want a little secrecy or exclusivity, as well as maybe you want to sell some stuff, digital or physical. And all the e-commerce stuff is easily manageable, inventory, sending out things, uh, emails will automatically be sent to people who buy stuff uh, as soon as um, it's shipped. Shipping confirmations is a great thing to not have to deal with on your own. So go look at some of the templates, see what they've got. They all look great. 
and then uh, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain, okay? All right, so there in the sponsored segment, I tried out the Sharpie S-Gels. It's a, it's a little weird that they have black and white versions uh, that are the same thing, just a cosmetic difference. Um, you know, I think, I think I like my pens like I like my coffee, black, not just the ink. I don't know, it just feels weird. I have all these other pens that I'm just kind of hoarding now, but I'm gonna try out, do some drawing with these, uh, the big Gelocity in this little sketchbook we got. All right, there's the uh, pen, Bic Gelocity. It's got one of those little, uh, those little nibs on the on the tip, those little plastic balls on the tip to keep it from drying out. I guess this belo book belongs to Peter. Period. Uh, there's a all there's already a weird thing going on here. Can you see this here? Where it's like, what is what is that? I guess it's just a thing with the binding. Hopefully it's just a thing with the first page. Yeah, it seems... You know, I'm trying not to be too nitpicky, but it's already a little weird. It'll do, it'll do. We can draw here. All right, maybe I can do like a, like a page spread here. How about a, how about a page spread? We can make it work. There's a little bump here in the middle, but we can work through it. Click, click. And I did work through it. Obviously they didn't make this uh, notebook with artists in mind. It's more of a, a journal for writing down your little daily thoughts or things you have to do, or I don't, I'm not sure what people generally do with journals like this, but um, I've definitely seen worse paper for drawing on. When I drew on this, there was not any feathering, which is when uh, you draw a line and there's those little fuzzy fuzzy edges on the line of this, the ink seeping laterally out, right? Plus, I could see the ink a little bit from the other side just because the paper was thin, but the ink wasn't seeping through. As far as the pen goes, um, it was good. It's good. I have no complaints about it. I would use it again. Uh, as far as these, like a lot of these gel pens are pretty much... They're just solid. I feel like pens are something that have been around for so... Actually, I don't know how long gel pens have been around. I don't exactly know what a gel pen is, what that technology is that makes it gel as opposed to ink. I guess, I don't know, there's something else in there. But I feel like it's kind of a technology that we've figured out, and it's hard to get it wrong. Every now and then you might get a dud, or there might be some company that's just uh, trying too hard or... It might just be low quality, but so many of these you go out there, you buy a good gel pen or a pen from like Office Depot is where, you know, office supply stores where I got so many good drawing pens for so many years. You don't need to worry about spending a lot of money on expensive art supplies to be able to draw a good, good piece of art. Um, anyways, it's been very rainy here lately. It rained for a whole night and the whole next day. It's kind of a nice experience when you go to sleep and it's raining and you wake up and it's still raining and it rains for the whole next day. Uh, when I was a young kid, when I was just a mere child, I was a little bit confused by my sister, a little bit peeved even because she liked some things that I didn't like. She liked the rain. And I thought she was just trying to be quirky and weird and different. But she was, when we were ch children, she was a little bit more uh, poetically minded than me. She read a lot more books and uh, she was a little bit more whimsi whimsical, right? And she liked the rain being, and she was like, I, I don't really know how to explain it, but it put her in some poetic mood, I think. And I, I'm st I get that more now. <laughs> 20 years later uh and it, it could be i mean even my mom tells a story about how she didn't like watermelon when she was little just because her sister did and it could have been something just like that like as soon as i heard my sister say 
that she liked the rain. I was like, oh, no, I can't like it. You know, we have to be different or we have to disagree. I don't know why siblings are like that sometimes. Maybe we just don't want to, you know, we spend so much of our life together and clumped in together mentally by people. Uh, but we just want something to to differentiate us. Anyways, now I agree. I like the rain. And there's a few other things I like now that she liked that I didn't like. She used to say her favorite color was yellow, and I just didn't understand it. Like, yellow was so annoying and ugly and harsh and glaring to me back then. And it was her favorite color. Now, it's definitely one of my favorite colors, too. Uh, at least to draw with. And when I use color, I almost use some some yellow in my art. Anyways, um, yeah, the rain. I feel like the nice thing about the rain is it kind of interrupts my routines a little bit. It makes you maybe do things you wouldn't otherwise. Uh, and obviously it can be annoying if there's things you need to do outside and you're getting all wet. Uh, and sometimes I wonder about things like big events that are scheduled outside, you know, people's weddings and stuff get you know, there's always these rain contingencies, right? If you're planning an outdoor wedding, you probably have some little backup plan to be able to do it inside in case it rains. But like sometimes there's these huge sporting events or festivals or something. And, you know, I've seen these, sometimes there's like rain delays for a sport game. You know, they put these, did I just say sport game? I feel like that's not the right word. Anyways, like a football game, soccer game, baseball game. And sometimes they even put these huge tarps across the whole field to keep the field from getting too wet. And then there's like a one or two hour rain delay. But it makes me wonder, do they stop waiting at some point if it just keeps raining? Because if if there was a game scheduled for last night, they would have had to wait for 24 hours. And there's so many people involved so many moving parts involved with the mass, you know, some of these stadiums hold tens of thousands of people, 20,000 people, more, I don't know. Uh, they just tell them all to go back home, come back another day. I don't think so. I feel like most of these are essentially rain or shine events. Uh, they, I guess they just end up playing in the rain. A lot of them, I don't know, bring a poncho, I guess. I guess the rain delay is just, hopefully it stops after a couple hours. I guess we'll keep going. If it doesn't, I do remember one time when I was had a soccer game in, in high school and about, I think it was like a quarter or halfway through the game, it started raining and this was a downpour, a torrential downpour like I had never seen before. It was like the air was more, more water than air. It was just, I couldn't. You couldn't see across the field. You couldn't hear anything. And it was, we just kept playing for some reason. I don't know if we all just agreed, yeah, let's just keep playing because it was just a silly high school soccer game. Uh, and it was amazing because of the limited visibility, the limited ab ability to um, hear anything, the, sh the rushing noise of the, of the, the, the raindrops. And I'm trying to figure out how, raindrops make noise but because of all of this it completely changed the feel of the game of playing soccer right because I, 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 I kind of felt like I was in this tiny little bubble usually you can see all the way across the field and yell to people across the field and uh but then you were just kind of insulated and how do how does a rain how, how does rain make such loud noise if you're just standing out in a field one one raindrop one drop of water falling on the ground could be almost inaudible right it, i'm wondering if some of the noise is the rush of the raindrops falling through the air i'm thinking most of it is the splashing the first raindrops probably don't make that much noise but once there's some amount of water on the ground the splashing of one raindrop falling into the little puddles of water on the ground probably is the majority of the noise but what I'm wondering is, is sound additive? Like if there's two five decibel sounds, does it turn into a 10 decibel sound? Or is it just 
still a five decibel sound. Does that make sense? Does my question make sense? Or does it just kind of... I don't know, because it really felt really loud. But how does just a bunch of tiny, tiny little splashes sound so loud? Anyways, I think I'm going to grow my beard out a little bit for the winter. I try this every now and then. Like I said in the in, in the beginning of this video, I had a little neck beard going, which is where most of my facial hair grows, kind of down on my neck annoyingly. Uh, so I shaved that, but I left it up on my cheeks uh, and face as much as I could. The annoying part is, like, some it grows in a little bit, uh, but when it gets long enough, I start to notice that it's a little bit lopsided, and I wish all of the stuff that grows down on my neck would grow up higher up on my cheeks. And I've seen these weird things called derma rollers. Don't look it up if you're queasy. I mean, they're not that gross. They're just gross to me. But basically, they're these little, they look like lint rollers uh, and they have tons of tiny little spikes on them that make a bunch of tiny little punctures in your skin that is that somehow supposed to uh, stimulate hair growth. And obviously I'm not that desperate because they gross me out and it looks very weird and there seem to be very, very mixed reviews on them and I can't tell if it's all just a, a hoax. Um, anyways, I'm not going to do anything except try to... This is what I do. About like once a year, maybe twice a year, I get lazy about shaving and my beard starts growing out a little bit and I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I'll try that. And so then I, draw, I grow it out a little bit and then I get bored of it and then I shave it. So that's how that's what's happening right now. Maybe one day when I try this, I'll notice it's actually looking okay and I like it. But I mean, it's the winter, you know, the winter is coming, so it's a uh, as good a time as any to try again. Plus I have this weird kind of bald patch on the bottom of my chin where I fell off a bike once and skinned my the bottom of my chin on the pavement. So there's a scar right there so the the hair doesn't grow right there on the upside. Um, I'm weirdly, you know, getting old and there's some like weird, like gray hairs growing in the, in parts of my beard, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, you know, you never expect that to happen to you, but it is. Anyways, thanks for listening, everyone. This is a fun drawing to do and I will see you later. Take care. Go buy some cheap pens, you know. Get a, get a two-pack, a four-pack from the office supply store or your grocery store. And, uh, yeah, let me know where if, if you want me to go look somewhere else on suspecting fart supplies. Maybe I'll go to, like, a gas station or a corner store or something uh, and see if I can find some art supplies there. Because this, this grocery store was uh, too easy. It was I didn't expect them to have such good art supplies, but they did. All right, see you later.